So next step is soldering. Um, I have this pin bar which allows me to just plug into the GPIO pins. So I have ground and GPIO4 which I will solder to this button and this resistor. So here is actually what I soldered. At the GPIO4 pin I have a kilo ohm resistor. I had to add another one mega ohm resistor at the at the power supply. So a correction from my last video this pin 1 is not ground it's power supply and I have to add this big resistor in order to yeah to prevent uh, the button from drawing too much current and this is the button actually and it works the way that yeah you have this power supply and when you do not push the button um, this pulls it this 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 resistor pulls the voltage up such that I have a one on the GPIO and as soon as I push the button it is directly connected to the ground with a less um, yeah with a smaller resistor so it when I push the button it pulls down the voltage from the GPIO uh, near to ground yeah and now we will switch it on the Raspberry so, back on the screen, I have the button here, so this, and I can push the button, and you see immediately I get zeros from the input, and when I release the button, I get a one output. And in the next video, I will show you how to influence, yeah, a countdown with it. Launix. Vorsprung durch Software.